In this video, I'd like to introduce a couple of applications of basic gates. So um, there's a lot of examples of basic gates and you'll have to trust me that this is very uh, general basic building block materials that you need um, for the rest of your academic uh, career and uh, going forward into your electrical and energy systems careers. Um, but I let me show you a, a, a nice um, uh, a quick example like uh, of from chemical processing plants. So there's a lot of examples of, of logic in plants or in in factories. But in this case, I am saying um, in a chemical processing operation, let's say an alarm is set when two things, one thing happens or the other thing happens. So I want to set an alarm when the temperature is too high or the pressure is too high. So I know that I want an alarm to ring, okay? And it's gonna either become one, ah, it's either gonna be a one or a zero. One uh, meaning that the alarm is gonna be on, uh, zero meaning it's not. So I'm building my, uh, my circuit kind of backwards here. So I know an alarm's gonna turn on when one thing or another thing happens. So if one thing or another thing happens, then that's the or operation. That's the or logic gate. So I'm gonna have one thing happen or the other thing happen. I said that one thing that could happen is the temperature is too high. So let's uh, draw uh, the temperature part of the circuit. Um, so uh, temperature, uh, temperature could go high. Uh, but I'm going to say that this is normally low. Um, and it goes high when um, the, the voltage of the temperature signal is higher than the voltage of, say, a reference signal. And don't worry if you don't know what that means. I haven't drawn the circuit yet, so um, you don't know yet. But so in reality, the way this is done is you are going to always be comparing the temperature versus, um, versus a reference temperature. So I'm going to say comparator circuit. This is a circuit that is going to compare one thing to another thing. And the one thing that is, is going to compare it to is um, a reference temperature. Okay, so we are going to determine if this uh, temperature is um, higher than the reference temperature. If it is, then this signal that's sitting here at zero is going to turn into a one. So we need to compare that into this little comparator circuit and you're going to compare, well, what is it like compared to the voltage of temperature reference, the voltage of temperature reference. Um, now, how do you measure temperature? So you would measure that as a, a voltage signal. You'd measure the temperature from something that's called a temperature transducer. And if you don't know what a transducer is right now, that's fine. You learn it in your instrumentation class. But it's just something, it's a device that changes its voltage level based on the temperature that it is exposed to. So this is pretty neat. What's going on here is we're um, looking at, we, we see this, uh, we're always looking at this reference and we are, using our comparator circuit to say, hey, is the temperature I'm measuring greater than this reference temperature? If it is, then set this equal to one. So that, that's how this circuit works. Pretty neat. Uh, so that's how you would get then a, a one in here. And if you get a one here or you get a one here, then this alarm is gonna go high. And when it goes high, it, that means um, it's on. Uh, so let's take this, this one away. 
and let's see what would make a one happen on the pressure circuit. Well, it's the same thing. I, I need to compare pressures, right? So compare a comparator circuit. And that comparator circuit, circuit is this time going to measure a pressure. See, and it's asking if it's high. And it's going to have a pressure transducer. This pressure transducer is going to compare uh, this pressure transducer is going to give a signal of um, pressure. Um, sorry, it's going to have a voltage according to the pressure that it senses. It's going to compare that to a voltage of a reference pressure. And it's going to say, hey, is this um, pressure? It's going to say, is this pressure that I measured from the transducer higher than this reference pressure? Um, if it is, then turn this signal to a uh, one. And when this turns into a one through an OR gate, that's also going to turn into one here and the alarm is going to turn on. So this alarm turns on if you get a one here or you get a one here. That's a nice little application of, um, of uh, the, an OR gate. A safety e-stop is very popular. A lot of you might have some experience in an industrial setting. Um, safety e-stops are everywhere. This is an example of a knot. So a knot is basically an inverter. So um, when the, the button is not pressed, When a button is not pressed, I want this um, to equal one. So, um, well, no, I want this to equal zero. So I want this to be false when not pressed. So of course on my other side then I need uh, there to be um, a, a button. Uh, so I'm going to build a button into this circuit and a button just looks like this. And you'll learn all of this, but this, this is what a button looks like. And you can see if I press this in, then it's going to make an electrical connection here. So what do I want to electrically connect? So push button. So if I push this in, what do I want to electrically connect? Well, I want to connect, let's say, a voltage source like five volts to ground. I'll probably need some resistance in here. You're going to learn all that in electrical principles. And I'm going to connect that to ground. So when it is, um... oh, I made a mistake. Let's see. I'm going to erase everything over here. Let's actually now look at our circuit, take a step back and see what we get. Right now, it is not pressed. So take a moment to look at this circuit. What does it mean when it's not pressed? What does it mean when it's pressed? So let's do not pressed first. So right now it's not pressed. I have five volts up here. Oops. I have five volts sitting up here. And if I'm not pressing that button, nothing's happening. So what I have coming into this gate is essentially ground. So when it's not pressed, I have a zero coming in. When it's not pressed, I have a one coming out. So it is basically a false zero when not pressed is here. And so then I go through an inverter and the inverter turns that to a one when not pressed.
right? When it's not pressed, output is a one. Now let's do it when it is pressed. Let's do that in orange. When it is pressed, now I'm gonna push this button and I'm gonna have contact here. And that contact is now gonna put this five volts into here. So this is a signal one when pressed. I go through an inverter and it's going to give me a zero because an inverter just gives me the opposite signal. So when it, this button is pressed, the overall output X, X is zero. So you can see this is the operation of um, a push button like an emergency stop.